Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of May in the areas of money, career and finance. As usual this is a general um, reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. First we're going to start with your spirit animal oracle card which for you number three armadillo spirit came out set healthy boundaries. So this is the card that's kind of telling us a couple of things. When you think about an armadillo, an armadillo able to kind of protect itself. So for you as well, you need to kind of pay attention to whatever's surrounding you and decide whenever you need to kind of say, okay, no, this is enough. Listen to your body, listen to your intuition and, and really uh, think about it that when do you feel that uh, that that you you kind of set your limits and and just be honest with yourself and 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 just think about it what is what's the what what is that you really want what is that your heart uh, desires because you know when the armadillo comes up it's kind of important to think about uh and 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 be honest in terms of what you uh, want to achieve but let's see what the tarot is telling us uh, in the center of your reading uh, you do have the three of wands three of wands is the card of the initial successes this is the card uh, that's kind of indicating that you made your plans you uh, set them into motion and you're able to see that your plans gonna work you're seeing the first successes this is a very adventurous card as well it kind of goes back to the uh, the adventurers of the old days when they you know uh, wanted to discover something and when they saw their ships coming back they knew that they were successful so this can be a couple of things some of you have are looking for a job for example and then um, you are seeing the first successes that you are getting a call back and you're gonna be uh, you're, you're kind of successful in this process if you are having your own business uh, then you can say okay this business gonna work out you see the first successes you're getting your first orders clients whatever you are working on but even if you're working uh, for a company you might have made your plans you might have started some projects and you're gonna say okay I'm going to be good at this. Three of Wands is also kind of have this um, feeling of, uh, of uh, internationalism in a sense that, you know, maybe if you're owning your own business, you are kind of thinking of putting it in an international global scale as well. Or you, you might be working on a global scale on something. But this is a beautiful energy uh, to have in the center of your reading because uh, there's definitely success for you. And you also have here the Empress. The Empress which is lovely. It is a card of abundance, it is a card of nurturing and long-term success, something that's gonna uh, that's gonna provide you uh, long-term abundance. Whenever this card comes up there's something that you're kind of um, giving birth to. Now obviously this is a money career finance reading so maybe some of you have started a new job, maybe some of you have started a new, a new business of some sort and uh, and you kind of gave birth to this new opportunity or or you started something new and 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 this is a card that's telling you that you're actually going to be very successful in this on a long term and uh, with the three of wands you can already start to see uh, the successes uh, the initial uh, successes uh, that uh, you can uh, see and and you know the empress is also a very creative uh, energy as well some of you might be working in some kind of a creative field and you also have here uh, the six of cups six of cups is the card of harmony balance creativity children some of you might be working with children some of you are working in a creative field some of you might be thinking back on the good old days and you're kind of feeling nostalgic maybe you've been meeting somebody who is very who you worked with or a, a co-worker or an old boss and maybe there's some kind of an opportunity connected to that person and you also have the eight of wands the eight of wands is the card of uh, uh, um, positive messages so maybe there's some kind of a, a great message some great information that comes to life uh, here it can be also be a sign that okay things are speeding up for you uh, like you know you're getting busier and busier when the eight of wands comes up it can be also uh, an indication of travel 
international travel, especially uh, with the three of wands and with the combination of, of the eight of wands. There's definitely some travel happening for some of you in the month of May. And you also have here the hermit. So the hermit is all about um, kind of going uh, going on your own journey, going uh, in, inside of your mind, meditating, and trying to uh, figure it out. What is that you want? What is that you really want? What makes you happy? What is your true purpose? And 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 uh, through this uh, uh, journey of of uh, going inside, you're actually able to get that enlightenment. What you're looking for. And then you also have here uh, three th threes, uh, the armadillo, three three of wands, and the three of the empress, which is is kind of a sign that you are aligned uh, with the universe, and 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 it is. Uh, it is a very crucial point on your journey where you can go beyond all of your previous setbacks. So make sure that you know you're not focusing on all the negativities that you had. 333 is an angel number. So some of you uh, might be seeing this number. Uh, pay attention to whenever it is happening and what you're feeling, what you're thinking. You also have here the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is the card of hard work. Uh, so you're definitely working on something. You're putting a lot of effort into it. You are uh, putting a lot of energy into something. You're working day and night. If you're looking for a job, you're applying. Uh, you are looking and you're interviewing. Um, if you're working on your own business, you're definitely putting a lot of effort into it. There's some kind of a repetitiveness in it, in it uh, as well. Maybe you are just uh, working a lot. You are uh, just uh, putting a lot of effort into something. But what's really great in the Eight of Pentacles, that all the hard work that you're putting into something, it actually brings the results that you are looking for. Uh, your hard work is bringing um, all the fruits of your labor, and uh, and then you know you might get some additional money, or you might get noticed. And you also have here the Judgment. So Judgment is uh, the card of rebirth. Or a big decision some of you might be actually like you know because it's right beside the hermit when you're kind of uh, considering what is your true purpose you might actually recognize it with the judgment because you can see that you know um, this rebirth of energy with the judgment where you are kind of realizing what is your true calling what is your true purpose I think for some of you this is definitely connected to this process that you've been thinking about and 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 I think it is definitely connected to some creative uh, nature of of job. But judgment is all about a big decision. Some of you might have to make a di big uh, decision at this point of time. Uh, maybe you are being watched in in a sense that um, because you are being evaluated. Uh, maybe there's some kind of an opportunity there. Uh, also, judgment can be a legal process. If you're going through a legal process, you can definitely expect uh, that the decision is being made and you're getting whatever you deserve. It's a very karmic card. Um, judgment can be also that don't ju judge yourself or people around you harshly as well. And you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune, which is the card of change so there's definitely some big change happening for you this is the energy uh, when the universe is working with you to bring you something good something better than what you have this is the the energy when you're at the right time at the right place meeting the right people and 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 everything kind of comes together really nicely the universe is bringing you something uh, better than whatever you have uh, right now luck is definitely on your side when the wheel of fortune is showing up and you also have if you look at it right beside each other eight of wands and eight of pentacles eight eight definitely a number of luck and abundance so some of you might be even winning something and look at this you have the ace of pentacles ace of pentacles is this golden opportunity that comes into your life maybe uh, you're getting some additional money maybe you're gonna win some money uh, obviously it's up to you i'm not uh, encouraging any kind of gambling uh, but you know when the ace of pentacles comes up there's some kind of a new start a new beginning uh, that uh, is there for you on the long run 
and and has a big potential to bring you success uh, on 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 a long term um again this can be a new job a new business opportunity an investment opportunity that might be presenting itself this is really the seed the opportunity that can grow into something big and at the bottom of the deck you do have the six of wands six of wands is the card of victory a card of celebration and being in the center of attention i think whatever you're trying to do you're gonna be victorious you're gonna be winning if you're going for a job a promotion this is a great sign that you're gonna get it or even if you're getting going for some kind of an investment opportunity or you're going for some kind of a business opportunity a contract when the six of wands comes up you're definitely gonna be uh, getting it and then you know you have six six and and even on in this uh, armadillo like you can kind of see a number six on it uh, I, I think i think uh, that's kind of calling you for being balanced in and and uh, and, and uh, definitely some great energies here um for you to uh hold on to uh great energies to claim you have the empress which is the abundance you have the wheel of fortune which is the luck ace of pentacles uh, which is a great opportunity and the three of wands early success and you have the six of wands which is the card of success so this is definitely uh, uh, an energy to claim i'm a capricorn and i'm definitely uh, claiming it so i hope that this reading helped you and i'll be able to welcome you again